Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Xenoverse. How are we all doing today? So let us start with a quick team recap before we do anything else. First up we have Harrock. Holding the leftover static ability, Spark, Steel Wing, Thunderbolt, and Drill Pack. And we've got Kung Fur. Holding the Black Belt, Inner Focus ability, Force Palm, Knock Off, High Jump Kick, and Close Combat. Then we have Shulung, our starter, holding the Xeno Vessel Ring. Swift Swim ability, Dragon Breath, Waterfall, Dragon Pulse, and Surf. And then we've got Rex Squim. Holding the Black Glasses, Pressure Ability, Faint Attack, Knockoff, Foul Play, Bone Meringue. And then we have Milo Mute, holding the Razor Claw, Snow Cloak Ability, Icy Wind, Headbutt, Jet Strike, Extreme Speed. And then last but not least, it's Electaburst, holding the Charcoal, Levitate Ability, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Fire Punch, and Low Kick. Yeah. So I guess it's time for us to go to the, uh, circus? Sure, why not? Young trainer, do you wish to discover the fate awaiting you? Sure, I see. Oh, for star's sake, this crystal ball of mine, I'm reading that a terrible curse will torment you for the rest of your days. There's a way out of this, my rare gems. Come on, escape your ominous fate then. <laughs> uh huh. And all these incense, that's a nice touch. Incense, Litwick, Chandelier, Poltegeist. Good, good touch. Actually, can I interact with the Poltegeist? No, I can't. Shame. Look like you might have been able to, but... King of the Merchant Guild. From Alola, I moved here not to do some business with my merch. I came here to get my hands on the enigmatic Meowth silence. Ruling over this region. I even give away my noble Alolan Meowth to get one. Do you have one by chance? Nope. That guy's a Meowth fanatic. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. The traveling gym of Sunshine Circus has opened its doors. Okay. Uh, flashing light warning, y'all. The only reason we left is because I don't. Ah, oh, can't go up there. Shame. Alright, now we'll go into the circus. Dear Lord. Ho oh, ho, a plucky volunteer from the audience has decided to take a stand. You want to take on the most quirky gym challenge that Eel Do has ever seen? Let's give her a warm round of applause. Come on! And now let's get started. With the grace of a feather dancing in the sky, here comes the first trainer of this gym. Make some noise for Skylar, the Skyless Acrobat. Merci, merci beaucoup. I'm sure this battle's gonna be très excitant. Bring it on, challenger Alez. All right, flying gym. I feel really bad for them. I feel really bad. <laughs> really bad for them. Charizard. I got blown away! Seems that today's challenger is someone not to take lightly, huh? Our next fighter is just what we need against such a crushing power. A man whose strength is equal to that of a hundred men capable of lifting a golem with a single arm. Goliath! Fire? Yeah, he's dressed up like a, uh, Embor. Interesting. 
Yeah, that's an Embor outfit. Absolutely. Fighting now. Fire and fighting gym? Because the first one had a fighting flying type, and then it had a fire flying type. Is this one gonna do... No? Incorrect. Huh. I guess it's just, uh... Coincidence? This man had better have an Embor. I'm gonna be sorely disappointed. I am sorely disappointed. What can I say? <laughs> oh well. Darn it, Anne. Darn it, Anne, that was tough. Oh, who would expect that the challenge today will take the bow a huge opponent? And uh, then last but not least, we have a real veteran here at Sunshine Circus. He, since he was a kid, he never left his food to cool off before biting it. In fact, he used to chomp the morsel while still it's steaming. Then he went beyond making the fire itself his daily meal. Here comes Rainer, the fire eater. What are you dressed as? If only I could gobble this fiery welcome, I'd get absolutely stuffed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But we got something really burning here, huh? Alright, I'll eat the flame of your determination and burn out your spirit. Okay, Mr. Clown Bite. How? Requiem's getting up there. Very usable. Scoville. Uh, flying. of Rainier was able to melt the chill of today's challenger, and now the public is in raptures calling for the last big match of the show. That's right, time for the big finale. The battle against the star of Sunshine Circus, the gym leader! But today's show includes a sensational plot twist, because instead of the gym leader, the challenger will have to face me. <laughs> Hiya, folks! Surprise, Crow, don't tell me you forgot about me. Come on, don't give me that look where I'd have a laugh, right? I couldn't tell this whole show thing was such a wild ride. Gang ha ha! Whoa, whoa, take it easy, I haven't done anything wrong this time. I took the opportunity that the missing gym leader of the circus gave me to have some fun. Kings like me need some entertainment too, you know. But other than that, I just couldn't miss the chance of being the center of everything. I didn't forget myself a score to settle with you. I knew you'd have come here. It's more you can't back out now. All these servants here are just waiting for the climax. You know, I've learned a lot about you humans since last time. This time, I'll do things in style. Obviously, it wouldn't be much of a scene for a charming Pokemon to battle a lonely plebeian, so I won't do it. Not myself, at least. I'll sink to your level and battle you using these two Pokemon. I'm borrowed. Folks, let me hear some noise for this unexpected battle! Ooh. I love the music.
it's time to really show them that we mean business. With a shoe long. As in, like, a long shoe. Lariato! Oops. I was not expecting Gengar, but I did expect it to be some kind of a trap. So, was I right? I don't know. Doesn't seem like an actual trap. At the same time, it wasn't. Like, we're not, like, in danger, per se. But also, this isn't normal, so, like... <laughs> Electaburst wants to learn explosion. Heck no. Get Curse you! My image has been stained once more, and this time in front of all these sevens. I'm just digging my own grave deeper. A true leader has to show it's able to accept failures too. Ha! Huh. All right, people, you've seen, you've all seen, right? This trainer defeated me, so what? The whole point is to have fun, isn't it? What the heck is going on here? There they are! It's Jim Lena Hannah. Wow, this show is really full of surprises. <laughs> well, it's time to say goodbye to my most devoted subjects. Adieu. Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> it's really gone. I suppose that was the Gengar Abraham was telling me about. That's really a slippery devil. What it did to my poor sunshine circus. Oh, who's that? So that's what happened. Well, at least I put on a good show for my audience. Has to burn in hell. They could have cleaned this mess before sneaking out of my circus. Ah, no more fuss. I better roll up my sleeves and fix this place up before the next show. Back to you, Crow. If you still want to accept Sunshine Circus Gym Challenge, you better prepare yourself. If you don't want to get burned. All right, folks. Sunshine Circus now closes its door to prepare the best stage for the battle. Challenge of Crow versus me, the gym leader, Hannah. <laughs> Hey, kid! You saw your battle there, you know, you were amazing. I hate the circus, but it's always a great pleasure seeing trainers of your level at work. Traveling around Ildu, hunting for the gym badges, am I right? Well, in that case, here, I have something that may come in handy, but just giving it to you would be too easy. It's yours only if you bring fire and brimstone down in the battle against my little grandchild, Henna. Only if you get to the corn, then you'll find me in front of the old abandoned gym. Alright. Basically, the game's telling me beat the gym leader to be able to proceed, most likely. Now, where is the health center? No. Well, this is the old gym. Okay, I guess it is. Okay. I think we'll still lead with hair. Nah, we'll lead with. We'll lead with Shulong for now. Circus! What? No one to know why I'm here? I'm a big fan of the circus! This isn't the answer, I'm here to cheer for you. Hello, the gym leader's an expert fire type Pokemon trainer. And as they say, don't play with fire, but water or ground type Pokemon on your side, you might be able to douse their scorching flames. Yeah, I know. Alright. Real gym leader. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome today's challenger. Come on! Sunshine Circus Challenge consists in a sequence of three battles against my company's best tumblers. Although it was an official show, you have already proven yourself to be worthy of the final battle, defeating all three of my associates. So, as elegant as the phoenix rising from the ashes, 
fueled by the eternal flames burning in hell. With the fiery passion within the heart of a warrior, my fire type and one will blaze up like gunpowder in their fiery glory to light up the sunshine circus. Well, we will quad resist this because we are dragon. <laughs> and water. Oh no, my attack is lower, whatever will I do. Special attack! I'm honestly shocked. Our uh, water attacks are not that strong. But, you know, whatever. How dare you make me sleepy? Run it. Hey, it's like a circus. That's a circus of value. Air balloon. Poison. the shot to one shot it dude and you fucked it ugh fine useless sure long will be asleep for a couple of turns so whatever or not just one You 
quench the flames of my spirit. Yep. The very essence of a trainer burns brightly within you, bro. Not very many people manage to put on the spot my beastly fire type Pokemon tempered by vicious battles. But even you were able to put them in their place like not even a tamer like me has ever done. The brand badge deserves to be tightly held in your skillful hands. As tradition wants here at Sunshine Circus, I'm going to give you this DM2. It contains flame power, an iconic move. Alright, that's the show for today. I want to thank you, bro, for the greatest show ever. Okay. Of course, we're also poisoned right now, so that's obnoxious. I'll go heal, and then we'll go meet with the old dude. I know I could have just easily defeated him just by switching to Shulong, but like, I wanted to use my other Pokemon. No bad idea. I was waiting for you. I didn't watch the entire battle, but I've seen enough to convince me. I certainly have all what it takes to conquer the last gym badge. You see, the gym leader that used to run Vega Gym has left with that choice. A few trainers up to seven gym badges gave up looking for him. But I, I know where he is, and I want to share my secret with a young talent like you. With this, you can finally reach your salt out for gold. Yeah. The gym leader of Vega City retired to another region, hence you will need a brain to reach him. Show that the right person in S Oak Airport. Right. I hope that with your genuine power, you can revive that warrior's spirit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling lazy. Psst. Also, it was much further away than I remembered. region. Really beautiful place. Anyway, would you like to get on board? Let's go. Ah, we've landed finally. Ever heard of Diglett's Cave? It's one of the most desired hiking destinations here in Kanto. Ooh, the music. I think awaiting a pleasure is itself a pleasure, don't you agree? No. You gotta yeet ball it. Every time I take the plane, I cross my fingers on the conveyor belt and hope they didn't lose my trolley. It's sort of a ritual now. Ah, not again. I really have a talent for booking all the delayed flights. Ah. Superpower Airport is the result of hard work that my father and his strong Pokemon put in. Even though he's gone, his memory will live on. Oh. It's the Machop dude. Does that mean we're in Vermilion? Hey, have you seen that huge Pokemon sleeping on the street? It's so big, I wonder if it fits in a Pokemon. I can say you're not from here, am I right? Take this. Uh, is that what I think it is? No, it's not what I thought it was. I mean, double money is nice. Yep, vermilion. Since it's sleeping, couldn't you literally just yeet a ball at it? <laughs> when someone is born near the sea like myself, they could never live without it. I've never seen such powerful moves before. 
I saw your candy kit. I wonder if that phenomenon that makes Pokemon huge affected the one sipping on the path too. Ah, that Cantonium Pokemon take on different forms in other regions. It's a phenomenon that allows Pokemon to go beyond. It's just called Mega. Hey, kid. Don't you have anything better to do than come over here to looking for an old geezer like me? Actually, you see, I know exactly why you're here. You want my badge, don't you? Since my retirement, I've only seen a few kids willing enough to come this far. Even though I've decided to give up everything, I've never left my occupation in the Ildu region, unlike I did here in Kanto a long time ago. Not for some reason, but I didn't want to leave vacancies, that's all. The determination I used to have by now has burnt out and just made me an old man living in his memories. My appearance as well as my being here tell the whole story. Look at me. Look how the inexorable passage of time has made me. If it were up to me, I'd hand you over the badge like lightning, but procedures impose me to challenge you. It's not like I want to, but... Get a move on and battle me. It's up to you to decide whether or not to take off all your strength. Yo. Sick. a steel gym from Surge. I'm doing this mostly because I'm lazy. Ah, uh, the dark. Your signal has no power here. <laughs> Air balloon. Clink clank. So who's the last? on with your focus sash but got burned in the end. You just prolonged your misery. I don't care how much effort you put in years, you'll pay off for taking the trouble to come this far. I'm 
russet piece of junk is the old badge of my long time gym here in Kanto. I renamed it Honor Badge to remind me of the value of those memories. Ugh. How am I getting lost in chatter with a pint-sized brat like you? You got what you wanted. Get out of my face. Go away. What? My arm, you say? You're such a nosy dyke. If you really have nothing else to do, I'll tell you what led me to end up like this. Cutscene! Years ago, I served within Team Rocket. I had legions of grunts under my command, and everyone knew me as the terrible Lieutenant Surge. I was fighting for a man whom I held in very high esteem, Giovanni. It was a dream until a brat about your age screwed everything up. The boss had to dissolve the organization he set up and I found myself alone again, as during war when all my comrades got killed. However, the spirit of the warrior was still burning within me. I therefore decided to join the army of a distant region that was recruiting soldiers to engage in a conflict against its neighbors. It had to be a blitzkrieg, but instead, it lasted longer than those who caused it ever expected. Food stocks started running low and we s and we had to split them between us comrades with whom we had started to develop a fraternal bond. But war never changes, that's true. One of the comrades fell into the trap of enemies and I tried everything using a shocking attack move. The same that, way back then, shaved my life more than once. But that time it failed. My enemies were ground type Pokemon. After neutralizing my attack, they replied using rock-type moves and devastated us. We had no chance. Myself. I got away with just an arm, but my brother in arms, Raichu. It was unrecognizable. The comrade I had been trying so hard to save was gone straight off, though. And I blacked out due to the massive blood loss. However, someone rescued us, take care of me and my Pokemon, and cursed me with this new robot arm. After several days, I woke up from my coma and went on a rampage. I'd rather die on the battlefield than carry the heavy burden of failure on my shoulders. But then a man, probably the boss of all of those glasses down there, stood in front of me. He proposed me a major role within the organization he was setting up, calling it the Phoenix Rose from the ashes of Team Rocket. I refused, obviously. Team Rocket was done and gone without Giovanni. but I couldn't tolerate what they had done to me, so I decided to run away with my Pokemon. But my Raichu was anything but the one I remembered. They told me its condition was so critical that they had to insert within its body the mechanical parts to bring it back to life. And those egg heads were calling it an artificial specimen zero. <laughs> All I knew was that I couldn't forsake a fellow, so I took it with me and ran off that. After all that happened, I had nothing left in this world, nothing but this gym, now consumed by time. It remained deserted since I had left my position of Vermilion City's gym leader to get involved full-time in the same role in my homeland. It'll do. I decided to come back here, and since this old shack has basically been my home, it brings me back the memory of a glorious past I could never forget. What a sad story, huh? sat there listening to me ramble the whole time. You must be a good-hearted kid. And what about you? What makes you keep on your journey? I see. You are looking for your father who disappeared years ago. I wish you best of luck finding him. By the way, I want you to take this. It's old now, but it should still work. <laughs> oh yeah, here you go. That's a TM. Is it a gift? Succumbing to sentimental sentimentalism. I really sank over. If the old me heard this, he'd have a roaring laugh. Hey, you. Listen up. What was the organization that kidnapped your father again? Team Dimension, huh? Sometimes fate deals some people a rotten hand, you see. It was Team Dimension that made me like this. I happen to remember exactly where its hideout is. How could I forget it, after all? Want me to tell you, don't you? Well, you may not be very smart to think you can break in the enemy outpost, or you've got guts of steel, kid. You willing to complete your mission so bad? I'm gonna tell you. In my hometown, Vega City, near my old gym, you can find the Il Du Casino. Real heaven for gamblers, fat casts, and for Team Dimension too. Pay attention now. There's a hidden passage inside there, probably shielded by some grunts, leading down to Vega City's underground. When you'll be down there, it's up to your ingenuity and hunch skill to find their hideout, but I'm sure you'll get it done. Watch out, kid, though. The truth might be a tough pill to swallow. 
Well, that was interesting. Didn't expect a double gym. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Huh, Silver. Does he know our dad? Sounds like it. Lem. When we were young, my Pokemon and I had wonderful adventures all over the region. We've evolved over the years. Ho 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 ho. It's an old joke. Ho ho ho. I have this strange feeling that this bench is linking me with someone from my past. Only because that's how you were written, sir. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club of the Paradise. Many years ago, my grandfather used to run it, and for after many generations, I inherited this fan club. I've also inherited his unbridled passion for souvenirs. What? You're coming from the Ildu region? You can get your hands on the undetectable collector's piece I'm looking for. Come back when you have what I seek. What are you seeking? The chairman. Seems he needs only a Mount Zodiac diorama to complete it. Now that the Pokemon fan club is held by us young people, it's bringing great strides. Okay. Pokemon fan club social media page? Yuck. I probably can go back there if I get the diorama. But how do I get the diarrhea ama? Vermilion City is a really nice place. Yes, this is is a well known luxury liner. Embarking requires you have a very expensive ticket. Lavender Town's gym leader. Interesting. You're the movery lunar. Go plateau. <laughs> this path is destined to other changes, kid. Well, that's fucking rude. So is that why Professor Blue Oak pre-ordered this parcel here in Vermilion City's market? Got a lot of money now, guys.
This way. Did we tell them? Nice to see you again. So, how was your battle against the gym leader? Yowza, so you got all the badges? That's great. Bro, you have my congratulations. We're not here for this now. Okay, let's focus on our goal. According to my informant, Team Dimensions hideout must be in the cities on the ground. There's got to be a passage to get down here. Ah, yeah, so you're right. Sleep's up and let's find it. Aren't you too young to be gambling? But who am I to judge? Truth. Talk to people in here. I'm great at this rock smash bros. Our puzzles at the sunset night are a real brain teaser. Friends keep bugging me because they want me to study. You humans should know how to live it up. My boyfriend promised he'd give me a new Paris, but only if I beat him a pool. Yeah, I proposed his bet for a Paris, but I didn't know she was so damn good at the game. I mean, I hear the players. Keep an eye on my associates. I knew he was holding something back. A luxury ball. Luxurious. Hey, what are you looking at? What? So I'm hiding a secret switch now? Look, look at what I've got to hear. We robots are not lies, unlike the humans, I'll prove it to you. With a battle. Looks like you're too young to gamble. Fuck. The casino manager has found an old cabinet over here. I have to say, it is really strange looking. We've been observing for a while now, but we can't figure out how it works. Laymen are, uh, are asked to keep a safe difference from it for the time being. I love the background. It's a nice touch. Hey you, this is our clan headquarter. What are you doing now? Clan headquarter? You're like ten. Chimu. What the fuck is this? Interesting. 
Interesting. Now I want one. They're very thick. Just hit. Thank you. Better hope the boss never finds you. Okay, kid. You're still like five. Trash. Raticate. Raticate makes sense. Rats in the sewers and all that, you know. I know there's at least one Pokemon down here that we want. Seamos are closer to the other ground, but there must be rare fossils down here. Okay, old man. Abilities are fossiled. You're a fossil. Sludge. Supposed to find like the fastest round somewhere? Hmm. Is there even a puzzle in this? There's a 
Chimu's had lost its flock. Will I help it? Yep. I can't believe it survived, to be honest. Poison fairy type. I don't want to have to deal with it. Please spare me, I am but a homo scientist nerd. I mean the no harm. Lies. You literally attack me first. Lies and garbage. That little muck bastard. A little sludge thing. I am intrigued. So far, we're not getting it. Oh, 
so close to. This will probably kill it. Okay. Wow. That should essentially seal the deal. Or not. It just keeps trying to swallow something. where we can pick it up when we come back next time. So I'm gonna say thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and until the next time everybody stay funky people.